Something strange is happening right now, not just in deep space, but on Earth. For weeks, the world's most powerful telescopes have been staring into the void, watching the interstellar object known as 3 Pon I Atlas streak past the Sun. It was supposed to be a routine observation, another comet, another visitor from the stars. But what astronomers have found, or rather what they haven't shared, has turned the scientific world upside down. NASA has gone silent. China, too, has stopped releasing data. And yet 3i Atlas keeps shining brighter, changing colors and defying every known law of celestial behavior. New photos exist, high-resolution space-based images taken near Mars. But both governments refuse to release them. Why, what did they see? What could be so shocking that the world's two leading space agencies would rather hide the truth than explain it? It started with a paper from Avi Loeb, the Harvard astrophysicist, who first proposed that Oumuamua might have been artificial. His latest study, published quietly on Medium, analyzed fresh data from NASA's stereo spacecraft, the SOHO Solar Observatory, and the GOES-19 satellite. All three instruments captured images of 3i Atlas as it approached its perihelion, the closest point to the Sun. What the data revealed was staggering. The object's brightness increased exponentially, following a curve proportional to the inverse of its solar distance raised to the power of 7.5. In other words, the closer it got to the sun, the brighter it became. Not in a natural, predictable way, but explosively, as if something inside it had been activated. The color changed too, from red to green, and now to a radiant blue brighter than the sun itself. For a comet or asteroid, that's impossible. The color shift suggests chemical emissions or energy reactions, but no known natural process fits the data. It's as if the object were generating light, rather than reflecting it. At first, astronomers thought they'd be able to track every detail of this behavior. NASA had several spacecraft positioned perfectly to observe 3i Atlas as it passed behind the Sun, including orbiters around Mars that photographed it during its closest approach. But when the US government shutdown halted NASA's public operations, the release of those images was delayed indefinitely. No one thought much of it until China went silent too. Despite having no shutdown, no technical failure and no reason to stop, China's Purple Mountain Observatory and its deep space network suddenly ceased publishing data. Their Mars orbiter, which had captured crystal clear images of 3i Atlas weeks earlier, has yet to release a single frame. At the same time, the National Astronomical Data Center in China deleted all recent observation logs related to the object, creating a gap in global tracking. Officially, China claimed that telescopes were reallocated to lunar missions. Unofficially, insiders admitted that the data might have been reclassified as strategically sensitive, the same category used for potential near-Earth threats. This sudden blackout set off a wave of confusion and speculation across the international scientific community. India's one news agency broke the story first, revealing that before China's silence, their radar readings had shown a sudden drop in signal strength right before 3i Atlas disappeared behind the sun. Some experts believe this could indicate an emission, a burst of energy or even a maneuver. Meanwhile, Japanese observatories like Subaru and European programs like Gaia tried to fill the gap, but even they struggled. Coordination through the Minor Planet Center kept some trajectory models alive, but the lack of shared raw data meant that nobody truly knew what was happening. The object's light curve continued to spike unpredictably. Each time it brightened, it did so by exact geometric multiples, almost as if it were pulsing. The pattern resembled neither a comet's gas release nor a tumbling asteroid's reflection. It was too regular, too controlled. Every lost observation narrowed our window to understand what this thing really is, Loeb warned in a podcast. And that's when people started asking the question that no one wanted to face. What if the silence wasn't scientific at all, but political? China's decision to classify deep space data sparked theories across the web. Some said it was simple coincidence. Others believed China had captured proof that 3i Atlas wasn't a rock but a machine. Anonymous astronomers on domestic forums claimed that when signals overlap with military frequencies, data is rerouted to classified networks, just as it happened during Asteroid 2022, WJ-1's near-Earth entry. But 3i Atlas isn't a threat. It's millions of kilometers away. So why the secrecy?
Could the Mars orbiter's photos show structural details, panels, symmetry, or emissions inconsistent with a natural body? Could the blue light be artificial? Meanwhile, the European Southern Observatory confirmed that 3I Atlas continues to brighten, even after passing perihelion, when normal comets dim. The object is still glowing, still alive, and now for the first time, China's silence is being echoed elsewhere. NASA has made no further statements. Hubble's scheduled December observations were suddenly postponed for technical calibration. The question now is no longer what 3I Atlas is, but who already knows. Weeks after disappearing behind the sun, 3I Atlas emerged again, brighter, sharper, and stranger than ever. Amateur astronomers across Europe and South America were the first to notice. What should have been a dim, fading comet appeared instead as a brilliant point of light, shining almost ten times brighter than Venus. The anomaly sparked a frenzy online. Within hours, images taken by private telescopes in Chile and Spain revealed something no natural object should display, a structured glow. Instead of the diffuse tail typical of comets, Tiasi Atlas exhibited two luminous arcs forming a perfect right angle, a geometric pattern, symmetrical and stable. The glow was pulsating at a fixed rhythm once every 248 seconds, identical to the mysterious interval first detected in its radio emissions months earlier. Every pulse released a surge of ultraviolet radiation strong enough to ionize particles in nearby space. Whatever had happened during its solar encounter, it hadn't destroyed the object, it had changed it. Scientists now called this the reactivation event, but some, like Dr. Li Chen from the Chinese Academy of Sciences, referred to it privately by another name, awakening. Then came the leak. An anonymous researcher posted several compressed files to a private astrophysics forum hosted in Singapore. The metadata traced back to the Chinese Tianwen-1 Mars orbiter, the same spacecraft whose data had gone missing weeks earlier. Inside were three high-resolution infrared images, apparently captured during 3I Atlas's perihelion phase. The images were grainy but unmistakable. The object's outline wasn't spherical or irregular like a comet's. It was hexagonal. Each side appeared to emit light independently, creating a pulsating pattern across its surface. The internal temperature calculated from the infrared readings exceeded 1400 Kelvin, far too high for any known cometary material to survive. The leak telemetry also showed a brief but distinct change in trajectory, a deviation of 0.09 degrees just after the ultraviolet flash event, suggesting a controlled correction. Within hours, the post was deleted. The user's account vanished, but screenshots spread across the internet faster than they could be erased. For the first time, the world saw what China might have been hiding, not a comet, but something engineered. The leak forced the scientific community into chaos. NASA, ESA and CNSA all issued statements dismissing the images as fabrications, yet refused to release their own data to disprove them. In the vacuum of information, theories flourished. Some believed 3I Atlas was an ancient interstellar probe, perhaps a remnant from a civilization billions of years older than ours. Others argued it could be an automated reconnaissance craft designed to map habitable systems and send back information. The Pentagon quietly upgraded its monitoring protocols, reassigning two deep space radar arrays usually reserved for asteroid tracking. Meanwhile, European scientists tried to maintain calm, publishing papers suggesting that the hexagonal shape could be the result of rotational shedding, though none could explain the consistent luminosity or rhythmic pulses. Then something unprecedented occurred. Several astronomers reported electromagnetic interference across multiple observatories, all synchronized to the same 248-second interval. The interference was strongest, not when observing 3I Atlas, but when facing away from it, as if the signal wasn't coming from the object itself, but from behind it. When the James Webb Telescope finally regained a clear view of 3I Atlas, it performed a full-spectrum scan, lasting more than 19 hours. What it detected was almost too structured to be natural. Buried within the reflected light were subtle variations in wavelength, shifts that, when plotted against time, formed a repeating sequence of prime numbers. It wasn't random. It was data, and within that sequence lay something else, an embedded pattern corresponding to a specific set of celestial coordinates. 
analysts at NASA and ESA confirmed that those coordinates pointed to a region near Kepler-186f, an exoplanet roughly 580 light-years away, often described as one of the most Earth-like worlds ever discovered.